everybody, it's me, Janisha Stanley, again. today I'm going to review the book, Who is Malala? Malala was the youngest winner of the Nobel Peace Prize at age 17, can you believe it? 17 years old! This book was written by Dinah Brown, and this book was illustrated by Andrew Thompson. This book is 105 pages and 10 chapters, including the timeline of what happened in Malala's life and the timeline of the world. Malala was born on July 12, 1997. Two years later, her brother Kushal was born. They celebrated Kushal's birth, but they didn't do it to Malala. That was very unfair. For Kushal, they brought gifts, and they brought poems, and they brought food, and they sang songs. And then, when Kushal was five, and Malala was seven, they got an, a new brother, Atal. Malala lived in the Swat Valley, and the Swat Valley was controlled by the Taliban, a group of terrorists. And, the Taliban said girls should not go to school and they burned and destroyed more than 150 girls schools and teachers and principals that continued to teach girls were beaten or put to death and Malala Sneaker they made a blog called Diary of a Pakistani Schoolgirl and she used a fake name, not her real name. The Taliban members watched her blog and so they wouldn't find her and hurt her anymore. Isn't that sneaky? In 2012, the schools were reopened and Malala was happily going to school. But on October 9th, 2012, something bad was awaiting her. Two people from the Taliban stopped her school bus, and then one of the people went in and shouted, which one of you is Malala? And most of the girls were staring at her, and the, and he thought the girl, the, the girl that the other girls were staring at probably was Malala, and, and he shot her right in the neck, the head, and the back. She was moved to different hospitals three times. And the third time, she was moved to Birmingham, England, more than 4,000 miles away from home. She really missed her home and her family. But then they got, they came back, they went to Birmingham. Everybody was disgusted by Malala's shooting, first in Pakistan, then all over the world. It took Malala almost a year to recover from her shots, but after she recovered, she decided to speak up for herself and girls all around the world, like Hillary Clinton. And she went to the United Nations headquarters and spoke. And on her 16th birthday, it was declared Malala Day. Then she said, they thought the bullets could, would silence us, but they failed. When Malala was 17, she won the Nobel Peace Prize and became the youngest person to win it. Now isn't she lucky? Malala believed that every child should get the right to go to school. Exactly the reason why she was shot. And there is, the, there is a website www.malala.org you can visit and there are three other websites and you can read this book to learn more about Malala. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned in on my new videos. I'll fly over to my next video. See you there!